Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tim. So today I have a special guest. He's been in a bunch of Richie Lee videos. My special guest is Sky Pilot. So Sky Pilot's off on doggy vacation. <laughs> and in today's video, you already clicked the title. You already know what it is. It is my favorite instant dry noodles. So I'm gonna be taste testing these bad boys for you guys. My mouth is watering. I'm ready to dig in. You guys ready? Let's do this. So first off, we're gonna be doing Indomie. And these are Migorang style noodles. And this is kind of prominent in like uh, Singapore and Malaysia. This is where I've had these type of noodles. So these noodles are your typical um, instant noodles. These are like the small squiggly noodles. So I'm just gonna get some hot water and boil these suckers. So uh, let me time this, three minutes. You know it's Valentine's Day and whenever I see you, me going crazy. So I heard you love the beaches. What about you and me going to the beach? Uh, beaches? Do you hear that uh, new gorilla species? It's called uh, the me gorangatang. Anyways, it should be done. Boom. So these come with fried onions and seasoning and then it has these uh, little liquid things. I've always found that whatever there is a, uh, it's like an instant noodle, but it has these like uh, sauces instead of powders. I usually think that those are the, the best. Oh yeah. Also, um, I got some crop sticks from my friend uh, Mylan. So these are pretty dope. You just break them right there. Ooh, there we go. And then you get like a little place stand for your chopsticks. Very neat. Mix these up. So, all right. So these are the instant noodles right here, guys. I'm a digital zoom into that. Oh wait, I got my G7X. I could make some glory shots for you guys right here. I call this uh, shot the Michael Bay shot. Boom. Oh, oh, bang, Michael Bay shot. Indomie Migorang, let's get it. That tastes pretty dang close to the original, man. Oh, and it has that nice kick too. Oh man, this is some pretty good stuff. But one thing I, I, I gotta say is that it comes with a lot of sauce. You could probably just use like half of those sauces and it'll flavor this like correctly. So to rate that Migorang, I gotta rate it a 7.5 out of 10. But if you just stir fry the vegetables and then you add in the meat inside and then flavor it with the extra seasoning, ah, oh, plop that on top, man, you got a meal right there. So there you guys have it, the Indomie Migorang noodles, 7.5 out of 10. But if you just add some extra stuff inside, that'll be a great meal, dude. So next up we have the Mama Pad Thai instant noodles. And Mama actually makes one of my favorite instant ramens. So I'm pretty excited to try these instant noodles. I haven't tried them before. So let's get started, man. Thanks, mama. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. These are like, oh man. They're like the see-through noodles. That is dope. All right, so I just filled it up with some hot water. Gonna close it for three minutes. So Sky, are, are you a young Padawan or are you a young Pad Thai? Oh, got him. <laughs> I had no idea how cringeworthy this is. Uh, sorry about that. All right, getting back to the video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's some like crystals in there. Probably like salt crystals. Wow, there's a lot of. All right, maybe I should just put a little bit of that in. I like how Mama Noodles always has this like last packet thing. It feels like it might be butter. But um, there we go. All right, mixing it up. All right. Actually, now that it's all mixed up, it doesn't look too bad. Just finish mixing it up, let's dig in. Wow, that's good. But I gotta say, it does taste really artificial. I gotta say, it has a very, very strong lime taste which I really do appreciate. But the one thing that I do gotta say that I'm super surprised about, not only about the noodles, is that all those seasoning, like that it had like a mountain of seasoning, and then right when I mixed it all in, it just all like disappeared. 
yeah, it was, uh, that, that was the most surprising part. That all that seasoning and uh, like very little taste. I don't know guys, I'm super disappointed because Pad Thai is one of my favorite dry style noodles and I gotta say that this kind of, uh, it fell short, man. It fell really short. I don't know, guys, it might just be me, but this is, this is not cutting it. So please, guys, comment down below. Comment a instant pad thai noodle that uh, you would recommend, because this one is not cutting it for me. So, mama, you're not doing it, mom. You're not doing it for the dry style noodles. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I, I thought that this would be a really good episode because I love mee goreng, I love pad thai, but these two, they're not, they're not really cutting it for me. So maybe, I think I'm gonna go on a search, guys. I'm gonna go on a search for the best dry style instant noodles. Let's go. Hajime, I've looked far and wide, but I've yet to find the perfect instant dry noodles. Shifasan. Shifasan, you've looked far and wide, but you have not yet to look within. Within. I got it. Guys, I got it. Here it is guys, premium Japanese yakisoba. Also my favorite type of dry style noodles. Man, you already know that this is uh, more premium than the other two because the other two just came in packages and these come in a bowl. Oh snap it, it has a, it has a drainer? Yo, that is cool. All right guys, I have drained it. Now I'm gonna put in the rest of the stuff. So, first up is the yakisoba sauce. Boom. Wow. Just as dark as I remember it. Oh man, this is the mayonnaise. I gotta put that up on the very top. I've got that dark hue. Oh. And it smells just like it. Wow. Boom. Oh. Moment of truth is what I've been waiting for. What you've been waiting for as well. Let's dig in. Oh, I gotta say it, Japanese style. Itadakimasu. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Do I hear some bonadori music? So that um, Mayonnaise is actually mustard mayonnaise, hence the yellow uh, packaging. Whenever they say mustard in Japanese, it's kind of like a spicy, like a wasabi-like spicy type of, mu of mustard. So it kind of burns a little bit. But since I've been having this since I was little, it's a good burn. I can definitely say that this had uh, Japanese people in mind when they were making it, because I feel like it was a very uh, Japanese like acquired taste. It's very vinegary, like I said, wasabi spicy, but gotta say this is pretty good. If you ever do try this uh, yakisoba, definitely use the mustard mayonnaise very sparingly. And then I think this would be great if you topped it off with some uh, furikake, like some of the nori furikake. I think I have some of those. So use this ajinori furikake and then put it on. Oh my God, that is the yakisoba that I remember from my childhood. Then just add some yakiniku on top of that and oh my goodness. Sore ga ichiban 
それが一番ですよです。There is a instant noodles out there that I consider to be the best one, and it's from Japan. And、uh, I gotta show it to you guys. So I'll see if I can buy it, and I'll see if I can make a video with it. And then thank you guys so much for watching this instant dry noodles video. Please subscribe to my channel, and if you found this video useful, please share this with your friends. And man, I gotta say, this is the winner. And、uh, obviously, it probably cost way more. I forgot the price, but it definitely cost way more than the other ones. And you gotta buy this with it. And you'll be good, guys. You'll be good, bye. Oh, also the、uh, Indomie. Let me pull that out real quick for you guys. Oh, boom! The Indomie Migoreng. Get this. Fry some meat, fry some veggies with it. And that's it, guys. Please comment down below if you've ever tried the noodles and what you think about it. Or if you have a recommendation for me, I'll definitely try those things because I'm always trying to look for something new to eat. And without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you guys next time. Peace. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click this video over here. Click this video over here. Sky, what did you think of instant noodles? Do you like it? Huh, buddy? I think Sky really enjoyed it because he's licking his lips right now. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My feet hurt. And <laughs> I'm definitely going to go to sleep well tonight because I had a good meal and I had a good workout for, while filming this video. Please、uh, tell me what you guys think about the video. And if you like this new type of format, And I gotta say, thank you guys so much for following the channel. Man, I am so grateful. Like, I'm so overjoyed that I have so many people follow me and supporting me. And,、uh, man, I'm definitely gonna make a promise to make better content for you guys. And hopefully, I'll make you guys proud. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And、uh, I say it so much because I really am thankful for everybody who, everybody who is watching my channel. And,、um, yep, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.